Hello guys, welcome back to another ArcGIS Pro tutorial. In this video, we will look at ways of importing XY coordinate data, which you most likely might have in an Excel sheet like this, into ArcGIS Pro. Now, in doing so, we are going to have to be careful about a couple of things, especially when it comes to using the correct coordinate reference system. Because in most cases, if someone fails to get these points into the map canvas, chances are they're probably making a mistake related to using the correct coordinate reference system. So let's go ahead with the tutorial and check out the dataset we're going to use for this example. So as you can see, I have opened up the dataset that I'm actually going to use to demonstrate this example to you guys. And this is a dataset of MRT and LRT station locations in Singapore, which I downloaded from Kaggle.com. And the objective today would be to basically import this dataset as point dataset into ArcGIS Pro and preferably export the resulting feature dataset as a shapefile. And if I were to check the type of this dataset, you can see that it's a CSV file, a comma separated value file. So it's important that whatever the dataset that you're going to use, make sure that you first format it or save it as a CSV file before you begin the process. And just to recap again, over here you can see that we have four columns. In this dataset, we have the station name, the station type, whether it's a MRT station or a LRT station. And right over here, we have the two most important columns, which are the latitude and longitude information given in decimal degrees. And just by looking at these values, we can know that these values correspond to a specific coordinate reference system, which is known as WGS 1984 Geographic Coordinate Reference System. So that's something that you have to keep in mind as we are about to start the importing process of this dataset into ArcGIS Pro. All right, so we can go ahead and minimize this dataset. And when you first open your ArcGIS Pro workspace, you should be seeing something like this. And the very first thing before we go ahead and import that dataset that we have to do is make sure that we are using the correct coordinate reference system for our map. And since I know that the latitude and longitude values of my dataset are given in WGS 1984 geographic coordinate reference system, I'm going to make sure that my map tallies that same coordinate reference system as well. So in order to change the coordinate system of your map, what you can do is you can right click over here and go to properties and head to coordinate systems from here. And right now you can see that by default, it's in WGS 1984 Web Mercator coordinate system, which is actually a projected coordinate reference system. So in order to make changes, what we can do is we can basically expand this window like this and under geographic coordinate reference systems, you can expand world and select WGS 1984 from here and click OK. With that, you would be able to see that the base map itself got sort of distorted a little bit to fit into that particular coordinate reference system, but that's going to be totally fine. And since I know that that dataset belongs to Singapore, what I could do is I could just roughly zoom into Singapore like this. Not that you have to do, but just for convenience. And after that, all we have to do is make sure we select or open up this map ribbon and expand add data. And from here, you can select XY point data. And when you do that, this kind of a panel will open up on the side. And what we have to do is we have to link that data set to this input table. Now, if I just hover my mouse point over here, you can see that this is actually a required input. The table containing X and Y coordinates that define the locations of the point features to create. So I will click right over here and go to the correct data set, which is this MRT underscore LRT data dot CSV and click OK. And right over here, you can define an output feature class, but I'm just going to stick with the name that I get by default. And it's quite important over here that you link the correct longitude and latitude columns from your data set to these X and Y fields. So if you have longitude and latitude, longitude should refer to X field and latitude should refer to Y field. Make sure you don't mix this up, otherwise your points will end up maybe in a completely different zone. And since we don't have any Z values, I'm just going to leave this blank. And the coordinate reference system, make sure that you're using the WGS 1984 Geographic Coordinate Reference System, which you could find under Geographic Coordinate System, World, and WGS 1984. Once that's done, we can just simply click Run over here. 
and it might take a couple of seconds for the program to import the points and as you can see we successfully managed to import the points at the correct location so this particular data set refers to the LRT and MRT stations across Singapore and as you can see that data set got recorded to a layer like this if you would like to change the appearance of these points all you have to do is just click right over here that will open up this symbology panel and from here let's say if you would like to go with an icon like this you can basically choose something that matches your preference and if you head over to properties we can make further changes to the size as well just like this and if you would like to sort of record this data set into a separate shape file all you have to do is just right click over here go to data and click on export features i'm going to browse this output feature class and make sure that i create a new shape file called mrt underscore lrt underscore singapore and this is going to get saved as a shape file as you can see over here it's going to get recorded as a dot shp file and after that just go ahead and click ok and if you head back to your working folder you would be able to see that that shape file just got created so if i remove this well both of these layers i could re-import this shape file back and as you can see we get the set of points just as we expected and if i were to right click over here we could also check the attributes table and inside the attributes table you would be able to see other information that we had previously for example the station name the type of the station and of course along with that we have the latitude and longitude values as well all right guys that's pretty much it for this tutorial however i'm going to demonstrate to you guys another case where you might not have your coordinates given in geographic coordinate reference system in decimal degrees but instead there's a good chance that you might come across a data set that looks like this so as you can see over here the name of this data set is stations sa which basically stands for South Africa. And we have three columns right over here. We have the station ID. We have, well, basically 14 stations. And along with that, we have X and Y coordinates. However, you can immediately notice that these X and Y coordinates look nothing like the previous X and Y coordinates. And I can assure that this dataset is actually not in WGS 1984 geographic coordinate reference system. And these values are not in decimal degrees. So, if you want to import this kind of a data set into ArcGIS Pro, it is important that you somehow find out which coordinate reference system this data set belongs to. Because if you have no clue about this piece of information, then there's a good chance that you won't really be able to get this onto your map. So if I head back to my data set right over here, you can see a readme file. And if I open up that readme file, you can see that there's a note saying that this dataset uses a projected coordinate system of UTM Zone 34S, which is going to be extremely helpful because these values, these numbers actually mean something only when you know exactly which coordinate reference system it refers to. But without that, these numbers are merely meaningless. So if I want to get this dataset as point features in ArcGIS Pro, what I first have to do is I have to make sure that I change the coordinate reference system of my map to match this coordinate reference system and I'm going to do that well since we're done with this shape file we can just basically go ahead and get rid of it and after that I'm going to right click and go to properties and this time I'm going to select projected coordinate system and under UTM if you expand WGS 1984 and southern hemisphere you would be able to see the WGS 1984 UTM Zone 34S coordinate reference system and when you click OK you will see that your map sort of gets distorted around and if you zoom out you will no longer even get to see Singapore because this particular coordinate reference system is applicable for a certain latitude and Singapore does not happen to be within the bounds of that. So what I can do is I can roughly zoom into South Africa like this and if I want to import the dataset again, what I can do is I can go to add data and add XY point data. And from here, I could select that dataset as well. However, I'm going to show you guys another method of doing the same exact process of importing XY data into ArcGIS Pro. And that is by heading over to the dataset or the CSV file 
and what you can do is you can directly drag this and drop it over here and you can see that now it appears as a standalone table over here in the table of contents and if I were to right click and open this up you will basically see the same data set that you saw in Excel and in order to add this data set onto the map what we can do is we can simply right click and select display XY data and when you do that this kind of a panel will get opened up which is somewhat similar to the panel that we saw in the previous example but now the difference is that you no longer have to link a data table because we directly right clicked over here and selected display XY data so you can see that it automatically reads these stations underscore SA CSV make sure that you link the correct XY coordinates to the appropriate fields as well and when it comes to the coordinate reference system make sure that you are using the coordinate reference system of the current map I mean that's basically the reason why we changed the coordinate reference system of the map to match the one of the data set and now if you click OK you will see that you will be able to import that XY data set onto the map just like this as well and similar to what we discussed before if you would like to change the symbology of these points we can just go ahead and select maybe another point along with the color of your choice. And if you would like to add some quick labels, you also can do that simply by right clicking and by clicking label over here. And you would be able to get the labels of each of these stations as well. And it goes without saying that if you would like to export this dataset as a separate shapefile, you can basically do that as well. So that's it for this tutorial guys. I hope this tutorial was helpful and if you do have any questions don't forget to add a comment down below. And you can stay tuned for interesting GIS related tutorials like this by subscribing to this channel. Take care guys. I'll see you again with another tutorial.